I guess I should call it. What? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Look at five or six kills? Five? I don't know why I have a death. Why, why would I have a death? That's stupid. Yeah, I haven't... We've only already just started. Hi guys, this is Matty Ace, and I'm coming at you here with my second video about the fighter plane, and this one is going to be more of a guide or a tutorial, and I'm going to try to share some of the stuff that I've learned so far. Now, the first thing that you want to learn is how to use the secondary weapon, the explosive darts, against infantry players, and before you want to focus on uh, stuff like the kind of crazy kills that you can do against planes with them, you want to make sure that you can reliably start getting these kills that might seem like they're very easy to do, but the fact of the matter is it, it took me and uh, most other pilots that I've talked to quite a bit of time before you actually could get the hang of it. Here could be a double. What's the triple? Oh yes, yes, anti-air, you are dead. Now the first thing you want to focus on and the first thing you want to learn is timing. When to drop the darts. And just like I said in the previous video, the momentum from your plane does carry over to the darts. So you want to drop them just before you are straight above your actual target. So yeah, basically what you want to do in the beginning is you want to find your target as early as possible. And then you just want to make sure that you can fly straight above it and release the darts just before you pass it. So now even if you end up flying in a direction that isn't going to get you straight above your enemy, you can actually kill them anyway. And what you need to do then is you need to angle the plane so that the darts fly either to your left or to your right. In this case, you see how my enemy was uh, slightly to the right of where I was going, so I pulled to the left and the darts ended up hitting him anyway. Also keep in mind that you always have to pay attention to enemy planes and enemy anti-air. Now if the enemy team is clearly controlling a flag that has anti-air, then you need to make sure that you either stay away from it or that you kill that anti-air before you go for anything else. In this case, both the B flag and the D flag has anti-air, but the B flag in this case is controlled by my team, while at the same time both teams are fighting over the D flag, and that means that it's not all that likely that uh, the enemies can camp the anti-air without being killed by any of your teammates, which is probably what has happened here. Also, just like with any other plane, it is very important that you can kind of predict where it is most likely that your enemies are going to be. Something that of course is a lot harder to do in Conquest, which I'm playing here, and a lot easier to do if you're playing Operations. And this is of course why you see most of these crazy pilot score coming from Operations rather than Conquest. What? Oh my god, they, they drop him from the, uh, the ship. Now when I first started playing Battlefield 1, I thought that the air-to-air -air gameplay was going to be very interesting, very fun and very challenging, but the fact of the matter is that it's turned out to be rather boring, and I'm not going to cover it all that much, I don't focus on it when I'm flying or when I'm playing, normally what you see there is what happens, the gather is about to be shot down, it bails out, and that's the end of it, or maybe you kill him on the ground. But the main reason why people are not interested in the air-to-air -air combat in this game is because the gunners of both the bomber and the attack plane are just way too powerful. It takes all the fun and all the skill out of dogfighting, so for now, I'm just gonna let it be. So now once you get a little bit better at controlling and aiming with the fighter plane, you can start killing infantry with a nose gun as well, and maybe in the same strafe, get a kill or two with the darts. The next thing that I want to bring up is prioritizing targets, and this example is probably as obvious as it gets. In that case, like for example, it's tempting to go for more kills, but you have to take down the AA. You have to take him down, otherwise I would have been dead now. It is quite common that pilots are considered lone wolves and uh, the kind of players that doesn't really care so much about their teammates or squad teamwork. But the way I've been playing is that I consider the plane, whatever plane I'm using, as part of our unit composition that needs to function properly with the rest of the team. Oh, that's where they are! 
Oh, on where? On the house, on the house. Oh yeah, I see. On, on I see. Yeah, 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 I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Not that anymore. Looks, uh, that looks so cool from my view. All right. See, as much as you're probably gonna get most of your kills killing people on the ground, eventually you probably wanna do this as well. Okay. Ho, 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 bomber down. Nice. Bomber down. So yeah, killing a plane like this kind of follows the same principle as I've been saying th throughout the video. It's just that you have to calculate for the fact that your target is also moving. Now aside from that, you also want to learn to understand the risk you're taking if you're shooting either an attack plane or a bomber from behind. Because aside from anti-air, the tail guns of these two planes are probably the most dangerous weapons you are going to go up against in a fighter plane. So next up, I want to talk a little bit about the psychological aspect between air and ground. And whenever you're watching a pilot that has a certain amount of a success, it normally looks like that pilot has almost no anti-air shooting at it or any competition in the air. I wouldn't be surprised if this video comes across as that as well. Now what I've realized is that the times when people are shooting me mostly with anti-air is if I start off a round getting a few good kills when the enemy reaches the first Damn. capture point. I think it's kind of natural that uh, starting off a round like this or like in the very beginning of the video, this is going to motivate people to use the anti-air a lot more than in a round where you get nothing before the two teams start fighting each other. So yeah, for the rest of the video now, I'm going to show you some clips that I hope you will find interesting. And I also hope, of course, that this video has been helpful and that from now on you'll have a little bit more success while flying the fighter plane with the trench fighter loadout. My name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. Damage it a bit. Killed it a bit. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this tank is going to G. Yeah. We're protecting the objective. Oh yeah, yeah. If you know you're gonna upgrade, then it's like yeah, not not too motivated to fix it. Uh, exactly. I mean, I will uh, reinstall Windows now and everything, but I, I, I hope that helps. You see that, guys? I killed the heavy tank with the darts. I was like, yeah, what a waste to shoot the heavy tank, and I got the nice. kill. Holy Finally, shit! Somebody. Like you couldn't see players like. Through the, you can only see them on the minimap. Yeah, that's been that's been a long time for me. Yeah. But yes, certain things like that were standard on hot, on uh, ESL. We have taken objective apples. Conquistiamo subito l'obiettivo. Quello è uno dei loro veicoli. Oh, look and see, holy shit. Did the cluster fuck? Yeah. Tanks and shit? Yeah. Everything. Oh, I got some kills. And vehicle destroyed. I almost killed one by flare. Oh, yeah. Speaking of which, I'm gonna flare now. Oh, that's a heavy tank. Lost objective, Edward. If I can do it. Looking team speak is not no. Avanti, conquistiamo l'obiettivo. <laughs> what a kill! I don't think I killed the guy that I was actually aiming on. I, I killed someone else. I think I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look back at that. We have lost objective Edward. Mm. 
What up, Pum Pum? We have lost objective dark. <laughs> Double kills are so fucking satisfying. Triple kills even more so. When it when you when you uh, when you're down enough in health, you can't control the plane. It just spins, right? But you ha you have to wait with uh, repairing until it's the, the the plane is flat like this, because the moment you start repairing, it stabilizes. <laughs> 